besides, I'm not rushing you. Then why all this rush and get up? I'm your business. You might as well tell them the sad story of your life, Ivan. Things will be so much simpler. Go on, while I sit down here and toast myself. Yes, please, Ivan. The night is dull. Stir our flying spirits. Elucidate. Tell us the sad, sad story of your disappearing whiskers and accent. Well, if you must know, my name's John Smith. I work in Hollywood. I design costumes for the actors under the name Ivan for various reasons. <laughs> yeah. John Smith. Great name, but hardly distinctive. When I met Olga, she was doing big parts. <coughs> she was beautiful. She had ability. But so did hundreds of other girls. She'd still be one of the mob if it hadn't been for me. I got interested in her. I designed her costumes. I made her stand out from the rest. I made her a star. And then I married her. You probably know all about her. World. She, she began to think she knew all the things about my outfits. Things got pretty difficult. She said she'd never speak to me again. Well, she came to Lucretia at Palm Springs, and then she put on the abused wife act. It was good, I tell you. Tears and everything. You should have seen it, Ivan. I have. Thank you. Well, Lucretia had never seen Ivan before, but she got the worst of him immediately. She gathered Olga in and swore to protect her from old Bluebeard here forever. And she did all right. I couldn't get in touch with Olga anyway. She wouldn't even answer the phone. Finally, I connected with Winifred here, and she got me this job. I made him be a Russian count because Lucretia likes oddities. Well, she never guessed who was lurking behind the whiskers. But it didn't help. When Olga saw me, she was furious. She wouldn't listen. Then I finally got orders this morning to drive a whole bunch to Reno. <coughs> but it seems you beat her. I did. Purposely, if you must know. I took a wrong turn and did things to the car. I had to. I was desperate. And that's the story. This far. Very, very touching, Jim. <laughs> <laughs> really is. If only I could get her to speak to me, she'd have to come back. She said she would. And you still want her back? I do. I love her. And she needs me. She has absolutely no taste in fashion. She should see the thing she put on if I didn't watch her. Well, there's no accounting for taste, but if you still want her back. <laughs> Listen, this is what 